Hello, it's Christine Vicente from Queen City Stamp Art, and today I'm featuring a card that I made using the Perfectly Plaid stamp set from Stampin' Up. So a lot of times people will ask me how I'm how I find inspiration and where I how I come up with my card ideas, and honestly, I'm inspired by many things, um, not just the crafting world. Even sometimes, just nature is inspiring. But last night I was I was thinking that I was going to have to come up with some kind of card design for Clean and Simple Sunday. And I was looking through the holiday catalog, which is now live. You can order from this now. If you don't have one, I'd be happy to send you one. Um, just email me at uh, queencitystampart at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to send you a copy. So um, I was looking through this catalog, and I happened to settle on this page right here. And I was looking at the different... Product, uh, projects that Stampin' Up! had featured, and one of them that I noticed was this uh, cute little gold foil pizza box that they decorated, and I thought this part of the um, design would be awesome on a Clean and Simple Sunday card. So what I did was I recreated it for Clean and Simple Sunday. It's a little bit different, but similar, and uh, that's sometimes how I get inspiration. So keep in mind that your catalogs are not just for product ordering. They really are wonderful tools for inspiration. Uh, they've got fabulous color combinations, great um, treat box ideas, and all kinds of fun tag and card ideas. So um, sometimes when I get the catalog, not sometimes, every time when I get the catalog, I go through it with a fine tooth comb a number of times. The first time I'm just trying to kind of take it all in. Um, but by the second or third or fourth time, I'm actually blocking everything out except the card designs and the color combinations just to try to get ideas. And then I just sort of tuck those away for some time when I need to make a card and, and something inspires me. So just some ideas on how to use the catalog for inspiration. We're going to move on to the crafting. So today we're going to be using the uh, Perfectly Plaid stamp set. We're going to be using this tree and the Merry Christmas. And we're also going to be using um, the layering circle framelit dies. I used a scallop and a um, solid circle to create that little uh, real red portion of the card. So uh, the ink pad colors today are Shaded Spruce and Night of Navy. I incorporated the Night of Navy because I'm using one of the papers from the um, plaid paper packet and it has some navy in it. So we're gonna be using the navy ink to incorporate, you know, just to kind of include the navy in the card design. So what I did first was um, I, I had scored my card base and then I'm gonna just use my bone folder to get a nice crisp fold. We're gonna use the Whisper White Thick card stock today. And then I'm going to layer these two circles, these two real red circles together and get those down on my card as the, um, as one of the panels, the panel that we're gonna build on. I'm just gonna kinda of center it toward the top here. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to the stamping. So um, we're gonna stamp the tree in shaded spruce twice. We're gonna stamp it once Here on the white and once here on the green and then we're going to take the punch that coordinates with the set and we're going to line the tree up inside the punch like this and punch it out and then we're going to do the same for this And then put this away. And then we're going to take <clears throat> the Merry Christmas and we're going to stamp it on here in the Night of Navy ink. And then we're going to add the twine, the white twine.
we're just going to tie a little bow on here. Just a simple bow. Nothing fancy. crying out loud. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh goodness, sometimes I can't even tie a bow. And we just adjust the tails like that. And then I'm just going to trim them off. And then this panel gets layered on to this panel like this. So we're just going to fishtail the ends. And then layer this together. green ink on my finger there. Okay, and then now we're going to layer up the trees. So there's not a lot of um, dimension on this card. It's subtle dimension because there are some layers, but they're not popped up a lot. Only the, only the um, sentiment strip is going to be popped up. So let's glue these trees down. get some foam adhesive and pop up this layer. I'm never shy with the foam adhesive. I think um, I don't like things to sag, so I like to put, if I'm going to pop it up, I like to make sure it's nice and firm and evenly popped up across the page, across the panel. And then we're going to just layer this here. We're going to try and make this panel straight. It's hard because that one's crooked, so you just want to focus your eye on the top part of this to make it straight. And you put it down on your card, like that, just like that. And now we're going to use some of the embellishments to sparkle it up. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some of these beautiful um, snowflake sequins. These are brand new in the holiday catalog. They're a really cute little um, combination of silver discs, um, shiny little iridescent stars, white and iridescent stars, and white snowflakes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take and put a couple dots of glue, just small dots of glue like this. I like to tuck one. And then I'm going to take my um, tweezers and I'm going to pick up a snowflake and put it down on the glue. And then this will, glue, this will dry clear so you don't even see it. It's like doing surgery with your tweezers here. And one more. These are so cute. I think they really add a nice touch to the card. They're different than regular sequins. Okay. And then the last bit is to add some little real red rhinestones to the tree. So we're going to decorate the Christmas tree with some little rhinestones here. There, just like that. So there you go. A nice clean and simple card. I think this would be a great Christmas card for mass producing. This came together really fast. There aren't a lot of pieces to cut and it's really fast with the punch. The punch makes it super easy and quick to make a beautiful Christmas card. So thanks so much for watching today. Hey, listen, I'm doing a holiday catalog online kickoff party on my Facebook page. Um, if you go to Queen City Stamp Art on Facebook, search it up in the search bar um, and click join. 
I will let you in and you can participate in the online party tomorrow night if you're interested. We're going to take a closer look at the catalog, play some games. Um, there's going to be a poll and I think it's going to be really fun. I'm going to be giving away some prizes and you'll get to see um, the items in the catalog a little more closely. So if you're interested, just go to Queen City Stamp Art on Facebook and click the join button and I will let you into the group. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.